Hello, everybody, and welcome to Food Talk TV's Grub Match. Tonight we have a very special Grub Match. It's family edition. <laughs> I'm going to be going up against my son today, um, which, you know, he's big now. He always wanted to help me in the kitchen, and I didn't let him, and now he's going to be uh, competing against me tonight. So um, our ingredient tonight is canned meats, okay? Oh, every kind of canned meat in life, but anyway. So we're gonna be waiting for him to come in. Hola, hola, how are you? Okay, so if you are if you are new here, I will explain what Grub Match is. It's the only live cooking competition show on TikTok, okay, where I get to compete against an opponent or a competitor every Monday at eight o'clock central with an ingredient. All right, so here we go. We're waiting for our competitor and, um, and Chef Bradley. Hola, Deanna Smith, hi. <laughs> I'm ready to go with these canned meats, man. Uh, What's going on? Hi there, Chef Bradley. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to a new edition of Grub Match with Sketchy Flay. <laughs> <coughs> okay, first order of business, winner last week. Sketchy Chef. <laughs> Sketchy Chef is the undefeated champion. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> undefeated champion. Okay, let's see if my son can break that record. He should be coming in here any second. Oh, he he's, should got, be he's got a is good he? menu. He's got a good menu tonight. Did you, did you conspire with him? I bet you did. He's got a good menu tonight. Okay, now, now, also, I was gonna say, I say a minute ago, in order, uh, you all are the voters for to determine the winner. So, after the show, you can go to grubmatch.tv to vote for your choice of winner as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there and you if you think you want to be a competitor, submit an, uh, uh, a video at grubmatch.tv. Okay, hello, Bam, all Bam, here all the awesomeness is here. Jerry, bestie, Ashley, Aaron Turner, Ashley Aaron October Turner. Dragonfly. Oh, Hello, everybody. Okay, where's Zach at? We ready to start? There he is. There he is. Hi, everyone. Let's, Hi. let's see your face. Got to get your camera on. Oh, there, there he is. Hello. Hi, Chef Bradley. Hi, uh, Sketchy Chef. How's it going? Good. Hello. Yeah. There we for... are. Okay, Hello, yeah. so y'all, you got one hour to cook as many things as you want to cook, but everything has to contain... <laughs> Some kind of canned meat, no ham. Okay, no ham? No ham. Okay. <laughs> it's good. the as well. <laughs> no so, are y'all ready? Ready. I am so ready for this. <laughs> Zach, you got to mop the floor. You got to mop the floor. <laughs> I've done it before. Okay. I'll do it again. Here we go. And time starts. Oh. Time starts now now all right let's go all right let's go let's it, Zachary. all right let's go <laughs> go means go my friend all right all right let's start something fun i don't even know what this is <laughs> let me tell you my dad used to eat spam when i was a little girl i didn't like it then and i've never ever okay this should be on the record that's the first can of spam i think i've ever Starting with a mackerel omelet. Here's the album Porkers on YouTube Music. Ooh, my God, you went fancy. <laughs> what are you starting with? You what? went fancy, boy. Yeah, you know me. What's your? What is your starting dish of choice? Um, spam, spam de something, spam de bars, and they're chocolate covered bacon. Uh, what do you call it? Candy coated spam. Okay. It's a dessert, my friend. Okay, okay, I see it. I see it. Ooh. I'm starting with dessert first, okay? All right. You know what? Just touching the spam is grossing me out. <laughs> I'm sorry to all the spam lovers in the world. 
Oh, good. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Something like that. I can smell the salty <laughs> spam from here. But I like that you yeah. did like a sweet and a salty kind of contrast thing. There, there you go. Oh, oh thank you. Nice. I appreciate your uh, opinion. Well, see, I took that into account as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> what that I would be making something sweet, <laughs> mm. or that you <laughs> just the fact that everyone knows spam is salty, so salty. Um, oh, here we can go. oh yeah, my canned mackerel. Now I'm making my candied for the that spam. Okay. Maple syrup. I've got brown sugar. So I'm using canned mackerel with females of basically just like tuna. But um, I'm gonna make some ginger in. <laughs> okay, I have some of that in my cabinet and I and I didn't even want to use it. So you, you got bold. Okay. All right, now. Show. Show. So I'm glazing my spam. That sounds so gross. This is this is definitely not the hardest ingredient, but so far it's the grossest to me. Okay. Huh? Why? Super I already put the best on the spam my, my other son here said, oh, you shouldn't have said that. But you know what? I, I'm sorry, but it's just the way I feel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's really hot in here, too. Are you sweating it, Zachary? I don't have anything measured out. It's kind of all eyeball. Okay. I feel like you've heard that before. Are you sweating it? I'm, I'm, I'm measuring things out just like my ancestors have done. Okay. Let's put these in. Set a timer for 15 minutes. I'm like, what's you mixing? It's frozen broccoli. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be part two. We'll do this. Okay. Now we're gonna do the salmon. What kind of, hey, what kind of chocolate are you using on your um, to dip your spam in? Hmm. Sketchy Chef. Yes. What kind of chocolate are you dipping your spam in? I don't know. Something dark. But right now, I'm going to make salmon, like a salmon meatball, salmon ball uh, sub with some lemon crema. Mm, lemon crema? Oh, yes, sir. You know you wish you did that. Oh, you know what? Somebody told me that you could eat these bones, and I don't know if that's true, but it's so gross. <laughs> what kind of bones are they? Salmon, those little salmon things. I mean, I don't know, but I, I'm so sorry. This is just so ugh, to me. Someone told me if you're hungry, you can eat anything. Yeah, is was that me to you? <laughs> I completely take it back. I take it back. <laughs> Oh, is that Jono? Who told you that? No. 
definitely you. <laughs> well, you know what? That's what my dad told me. And guess what? I wasn't that hungry because I didn't eat half the things they made, like liver, a bunch of other stuff. Milk. Okay. I don't know if this is bone, but they're just they're gross. Now. Okay. I'm going to assume no, even though I know probably yes. Because they're just gross. I think I'll shoot for like. And since I'm going to eat these salmon meatballs, I don't want to eat the bones. That's yay, so. I'm bigger. wasting my time, huh? Okay, so in this dish here, I've got salmon, mostly deboned, an egg. And I'm going to add salt and pepper. Maybe. Salt. Pepper. My hands are all slippery. Now I'm going to add shallot. I'll put some ginger into the egg for our mackerel omelet. A little bit on the side here. A little hey. bit of mackerel. So, who's going to eat that omelet, Zachary? You or Jono? I mean, it's going to be delicious. I doubt. I mean, come on. Who doesn't like canned mackerel? But who's going to eat it? You or your cameraman? Um, we'll, we'll start with the cameraman. <laughs> okay, that means you don't like it. <laughs> I'd love to see people's reactions. It's going to be delicious. Come on. It's going to be delicious. Delicious. Yes, it is. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be delicious. Okay, now to mine, I'm adding some breadcrumbs. Well, that's good one. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> oh, disgusting. It's <laughs> okay, my cameraman doesn't like this. I don't think I've ever fed my kids uh, canned anything like this. Tuna, yes. But when I was very first married, I did used to make like salmon patties in a gravy. They were really good. <clears throat> All right, first 10 minutes in. What are you working on, Sketchy? Oh, my God. I've got salmon balls um, that I'm about to put in a pan, and I have some Spam. Uh, they're going to be like a sweet uh, chocolate-covered Spam. <laughs> Was that canned salmon? Oh, yes, it sure is. Do you want to see you, the can? <laughs> did you take out the bones and the eyeballs? I took everything out of it. <laughs> what are you working on, Zach? Oh, here, Pop. All right, you want butter? No. All right, Mr. Zach, what are you working on? I am working on um, mackerel omelet at the moment and trying to double task and get a second dish going. All right, what's going to be the second dish? Um, let's see. What's your second dish? Oh, my second dish? Oh, second dish is going to be um, clam, clam pizza. Clam pizza. Oh, snap. There you go. Go. Y'all need to keep on cooking, keep on rocking. And okay. Here we we'll go. be back to check on you here shortly. After this match, y'all can go to grubmatch.com and vote for who you think won. Okay. And uh, tap the screen, share the live, and invite some of your friends and get some more people in here to watch. We'll check back in a little bit, Sketchy. Okay. Uh, get a trash can. Trash there. Okay. 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 Okay.
working on the ingredients for an Alfredo sauce. And I wasn't gonna originally make a homemade Alfredo sauce actually. But uh, someone told me how easy it was and it's so easy. All you do is mix a couple of, what is it? Here we go. Basically. All right. Now I've got the ingredients going in for a chicken pot pie with some canned, let me turn this thing down, some canned chicken. What are you using your canned chicken for? Canned chicken? I'm making some chicken pot pies. Okay. I actually went to the store and the one can that I definitively knew I wanted was chicken. And um, I actually mixed it up for turkey. Yeah. Oh, turkey. Yeah, we're going to make it a better, better dish, actually. For that, so. My store didn't have turkey. Absolutely. In a can. Tuna, my tuna in a can. of heavy whipping cream. There's a half a cup of butter in there as well. Ow. Yeah, no, it's just I'm cooking the, the eggs in here and holding it all together. That's what I got okay. for again. frozen stick of butter in there. Well, just close to it. A little tiny bit of onion. And I swear there is a method to this madness. So I'm adding my chicken. Go so for the Italian seasoning. Some garlic. It's got some garlic searing the pan. I'm gonna get ready to add that to some pizza. Added more garlic than that. Oh my babies. Oh, no. Here we go.
like shredding two cups of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. All right. The kitchen counters are made for. What are you, what are you doing, Zach? Refreshing. Um, I am shredding the heck out of some Parmesan right now. Oh, there you go. For a homemade, par- uh, what's it called? Uh, let's see, homemade uh, Alfredo. I'm making a homemade Alfredo. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. I taught you well, son. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Although, I give this credit to um to a friend, actually. Got oh, darn, darn. Inspiration from, from my words. I knew you were going to say something like that. But it's okay. But, it's okay. You're the foundation. You're the foundation. So. Oh, great, great. How kind of you. All right, yeah. This garlic is, she's good. She's good. She's toasty and... All right, so I'm opening clams now. These clams are going to be for clam chowder. Excuse me. Okay. Let me remember where my broth is going. Because you told me you were cooking 10 dishes, and I instantly thought to myself, well, it's a, it's a numbers game, so let's see how many dishes I can juggle all at once. Oh! Um, so far, it's two. <laughs> I'm going to set this broccoli on the side for later use. Here. Got Alfredo going. Clean on my workstation a little bit. Bouncing back and forth. So my uh, macaroni recipe is good to go. Let me check my. Oh, God. Let me check my balls. Add all that seared garlic mixture. Anyway. Yeah, I like the way it looks. Probably added a good amount of garlic flavor, but a little garlic salt never hurts. For another Alexa, stop. Two minutes while I do this. Thank you. All right, Parmesan. Yes, yes. Um, let's see. This recipe is Korean, I thought get right. Look how pretty! Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's beautiful! Yeah, it's a little pot pie. Beautiful. Baby uh, pot pie. But I, but I can't give you the credit though, Zach. I understand. <laughs> Get this out. Put a little bit more cheese in here. Alfredo sauce. Make sure we're at pizza. Now, now this is going to save. And I've got two cups in here. Nope. Might have one cup worth of Parmesan so far. Do I? It's good. Probably throw in some more. All right, we're down to less than forty minutes left. What are you working on, Sketchy? Um, I have. I'm gonna make a tuna pinwheel. I've got some pot pies. Well, I don't know. Zach's over there. He looks all calm and collective, and you're yelling at Alexa. You okay? <laughs> I don't know if I'm okay. How many dishes down are you, Sketchy? <laughs> 
What? Are you still on your first two dishes like I am? Oh, yes, I am. Okay. <coughs> Not. Not? Not. Oh. All right, comment collected no more. <laughs> uh, what are you working on, Zach? I'm um working on getting Alfredo sauce completed here. And um, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to start on the omelets. There you go. There you oh, go. Look at that. 38 minutes left. Okay. 38 minutes. 38 minutes is a long freaking time, man. Zachary. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. Let me get an, uh, what do you call it? Nice. All the way to the bone. These chunks. All right. Apparently, it's just half a cup of butter, uh, one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, two cups of Parmesan, minced garlic, some Italian seasoning. Probably want to add some salt and pepper. She is mm. <laughs> coming together. It's coming together. All right, I'll let that simmer on super low heat. While that's happening, I'll start on my. Uh, move this over here. I'm gonna use my. Oh shoot! I just broke one. Yes, maybe not. Part of the burner. Okay. All right. Let that heat up for. Alexa. Omelet. Then it's time for 15 minutes. Broccoli. I'm waiting for broccoli. That's why I didn't make it yet. My broccoli could be added. Is there? So. Ooh. Actually, I don't like that huge chunk of broccoli. I'm taking it back out. So let's take this huge rock of chunk of broccoli out. And. Clean up this this area, just make it more workable. Thank you. Okay, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to sweat. Oh. Wait, give me the phone. Someone said, "Who? How can I try to beat the door, guys?" It's very easy. What's that? <laughs> How, 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 oh, how, Terry, bestie, you know. How can they, how can she try to beat, um, how can she try to beat this adorable guy? Who's this? Oh my goodness, my mom. Yeah. This is my mom. <laughs> She'll beat me any day. That's oh, why. But she won't, not today. <laughs> so you can beat Are you talking about me? <laughs> yeah, he says he's gonna beat you today. Okay. Okay. So we got this okay. guy. Come on now, come together. A little warmer. Okay. Let's chop these larger chunks of broccoli real quick. Where is Here we go. What's that? Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? Remember, I said the cheese. The cheese. Okay. That's, that's broccoli. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cancel on the cheese. Yeah. Good heat on that. Butter in there. No. This is just for the edges that I'm going to roll up. Okay. Okay. Someone, someone said, get that mop ready, Zach. Get that mop ready. <laughs> Who's this? Who's talking trash? 
Someone's familiar with the mop that it seems like. I am going to be making a phyllo dough tart with heirloom tomatoes and anchovy. All right. All right. Ooh, hold on, Rocky. All right. I'm allowed to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. That's unacceptable just to have like just the chunks that are way too large. So like it's like that. Last little giant chunk. I'm sorry, y'all. This is what happens. In my kitchen. There we go. This cheese on top of Parmesan. Fishy. Yeah, that's a fish dish, but hey, it's, if you like fish, this is a great dish. Okay. Sit for a second. Check on this. Ooh. Okay. All right, there. All right. Calm down. Uh, I'm going to Okay. Stop. All right. Why am I making pizza? We are going to have pizza. Over there now. Let's see. What's next? What's next? What's next? What do we want to see next? All right. We're going to do some. Put her the way. We're going to make some. Ta da! Tell everybody what you're making. I am I'm gonna make some clam chowder. Uh, clam pizza. Clam chowder. I'm making uh, mackerel omelets, and that's where we're at right now. So it's a baking. Oh, we should have turned it on a little while ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Go there. Okay. What's my time looking like? 33, 633. Uh, 30 minutes? 27. Or uh, 27 minutes. Wait, yes. don't, <laughs> don't tell me it's only 30 minutes to cook an omelet. I don't think you had it finished. <laughs> Um, well, I'm working on getting my omelet off the pan in just a second, getting a second omelet on the pan, and then we'll get our pizza in the oven. Okay. Okay, we're down to 29 minutes left. Sure. 29 minutes left. All right. What are you working on? What are you working on? I can make room for all these fans. Maybe not. not I'm working out my chowder, Bradley. What kind of chowder are you making, Sketchy? Uh, canned clam chowder. What, what's going in it, Sketchy? What? What are you putting in it? Bacon, potato, uh, half and half, clams, onion, salt and pepper, a little bit of lime. Oh, Might not be as tough as I want them to be, but you know what? Beautiful mackerel omelet, American omelet. 
What are you working on, Zach? Uh, I'm working on, uh, I just finished the macro omelets, and now I'm going to work on uh, chicken, ques- or chicken quesadillas. All right. What are you working on again, Sketchy? Clam chowder. What, what are you putting in it? Potatoes, clam, heavy cream, a whipping, no, half and half, onion, little bit of love, bacon. Chicken. Well, Zach, one thing you didn't learn from Sketch is you clean up after yourself. <laughs> what was that? You say I need to learn how to clean up after? What was that? Say it again. You, you you clean up after yourself all the time. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay, we're down uh, to 28 minutes. All right. Chicken. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. I said yes. That's what we're doing. Delicious. Tortillas. Salt in here. Oh, this bacon smells so good. I'm going to take some ingredients. Get my creamer out. I, for some reason, thought that, like, I would be able to execute each step just so seamlessly in my in my brain and like as it happened. It's actually it's actually a uh, pretty exciting. But yeah, I'm not moving too fast. Let's open this bag a little bit. Chicken to Santillas. Find my pepper. Do you see it? What do I do with it? I lost it. My bay leaves. <coughs> oh, yeah. Where's my pepper at? Pepper, pepper. Okay. I can't find my bay leaves. But that's okay. All right. Now. How do you my thing? My thing, my thing. You're in the way. You are in my way. I need a new space. <laughs> my way, boy. All right. I wanted to do with that chicken before. I need some good stuff. These ones are not exactly good. Those down. Okay. 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 So this stuff just works. A little too white in the pan. Over here. Just so yeah. Also, here a little bit. Here actually. Uh, I can fix that. Here for me. 
it helps to turn the, turn the burner on. All right. Okay, I got my slaw or my sandwich. All right, okay, let's keep this out. ready to go. And let's clear space. Nothing. I'm missing stuff. Alexa, stop. <laughs> I do recommend the proper size oven sheet for pizza. It is highly recommended. It'll do though, she'll do, you know? However you want to do it, it's how you want to do it. I got some suspicion about a parmesan all that. I got a pump to break my other cheese. Got chicken going in the corner. You are in my way. I have got a cameraman in my way. I'm halfway across the counter. What? I'm halfway across the counter. You're halfway across the counter. All the way across. I'm gonna wash my grate. No way I can do that. This is an awful spatula. Um, let's do that. Hold on. I am uh, making, I'm starting my quesadillas, I'm searing some chicken because it ran out of the can, looks a little white, a little white. Um, and also I'm starting my pizza. Okay. Yeah. I've yeah. got three Pardon? things plated already. Okay. Oh, what are they? Just let me know. Just let me you know. Have, what do you have plated? I've got tuna cheese pinwheels, pot pies, salmon, uh, meatballs. <laughs> Wow. Um, where did my seven meatballs? Oh, darn it. I was like, what did they do? They jumped out of the kitchen. All right, here we go. Here's my meatballs. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay. I gotta get my crema. If I don't do it now, guess what? I won't do it. How many minutes did I have left? 15. Oh, yeah, that's grounding up nicely. Why am I losing all my stuff? That's happening. I bought some <laughs> yogurt. That look a little better. Throw that paprika in there. Oh yeah.
Pick Arena Romano. <laughs> and you know the reason I said maybe not is because I have more control to just spread it over the pizza if I put it on the plates. I need another Which I am at a time crunch. You do crazy things when you're at a time crunch. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it for a minute. One more minute. One more minute. Let's see. Oh, there's one. Wants to watch me do this. Okay. I want to burn my fingers off, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's in the oven, actually. Okay. And for the pizza, my mushrooms. So let's wash a couple of mushrooms. Nice. Get my clams out of the package that they're in. Look at my little, my little double boiler. Isn't it cute? This was a gift. This is a gift that I like. Okay. So let's call this done. Now. Oh, uh, I think I should put this on my... You know what? Let me put this on the other thing over there. Okay. These things are kind of stuck. I'm going to have to work with them. These are stuck to my paper. I swear I can't be I can't be beat by spam. Oh my gosh. Darn it. Well guess what? These are gonna come well, out. Well guess, guess what, Sketchy? What? Fifteen minutes left. Oh. Okay. Fifteen minutes left. You're gonna be able to get that off that tin foil in fifteen minutes? Let's go. Fifteen minutes. Where's my climax? What are you working on, Sketchy? I've got some spam sweet things. They're called spam delight. Spam delight. Or something like spam de bar or something like that. Sure. What are you working on, Zach? I am about to put this clam pizza in the oven. There you go. Everybody's waiting on that clam pizza. All right. Well, I think it's pretty good to go out of the out of the tin a little bit. So let's do a quick chop for me. I've got like that's one be, I think that's going to be the star of the show is that clam pizza. Have you ever used it before? Have, so, Brian, have, you, ever, have, you, have you ever used the clam before? I have had a clam pizza before, not with canned clams though. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> well, it's it's still going to be star of the show. All right. I hope so. Okay, I'm going to check back here shortly. I'm going to do a countdown. Remember, everything has to be on the plate. Oh, on everything the plate. has to contain the secret <laughs> ingredient. <laughs> And everybody that's watching, go to grubmatch.tv and you can vote right after this is over with for Zach. So, All right. 13, oh, 13 minutes left. 13 minutes. This has 12 minutes, so we'll just put it in. Hey, Google, set a timer for 12 minutes. All right. 
Macro omelet. You've got our pizza in the oven. Hey Google, how much time left on that pizza? Oh, hello. I didn't tell it pizza. Hey, how much? Hey Google, how much time left on that timer? Nine minutes and seven seconds remaining. All right, nine minutes and seven seconds to play. Oh, it's a key! Oh, it's a key! Oh, how do you do this? Oh. <laughs> How are we going to do this? Let's do it like this. Let me assemble on the... I think I should just spray the, spray the, the pan, huh? <laughs> How's the family edition coming along? Let's do this. <laughs> Is there a family resemblance at all? <laughs> Are you getting sassy, Zachary? <laughs>
How much time is left on the timer? Oh, five minutes. It's okay, she's gonna be on a plate. Okay. okay. I'm not making that. I'll just do this. Okay? We're going to Let's do that. Okay. Oh, this is so close. <laughs> gotta get a plate. Gotta plate for the pizza. Right We are down to six minutes in this mother-son competition at Grub Match. How's it going, Sketchy? Oh, it's going. It's going. Did you have fun with that key? How's it going, Zach? It's going. It's, it's going. Right. It's going. Getting ready to plate all this delicious stuff. There we go. We got... Five minutes and 25 seconds. I had enough time to do this. Hmm, not bad. Five minutes. How many times did you say? Five minutes and 25 seconds. It has to be on a plate. Five minutes and 25 seconds. Okay. You can mix it real quick. Spam. Five minutes. I wonder if it'll take five minutes. I can plug in. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Bacon. Getting down to the wire. Getting down to Let's the watch wire. This beautiful. Let's watch this beautiful thing. Um, crisp up a little bit. Let's get it all on the plate. How much time left? Hey Google, how much time left on the timer? Two minutes and two seconds? Three minutes. How much on? Oh. Three minutes Over there? Okay, okay. No, three minutes instead of here. Over here? And how much are here? Two minutes? Like four. Okay. <laughs> four minutes left, four. down to four minutes. Four minutes. Hey Google, how much time left on that timer? All right, two minutes. I can cook pizza in two minutes. I don't know. I said I could cook. <laughs> Seven we'll dishes. Down in, to in an hour. Hour. What are you working on, Sketchy? Um, I'm gonna make a a, 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 a crab quesadilla. So you're not gonna make a, a tuna fish water martini? Not today. <laughs> water. Some cheese. Okay. okay. Maybe I'm not. I don't sour know. I'm not like sour cream. Sketchy. Hey, Sketchy. I don't like sour cream. Sketchy. Yes. 
Joanne wants to know if you've ever let Zach win games as a child. If I what? Ever let Zach win games as a child. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, he used to beat his brother at games all the time. Three minutes left. I cannot believe it. I can't find my cheese. Oh, you know what? I have to <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Put it on the plate. That looks great. Hey, Google, how much time left on the timer? One minute. Okay, I've got something I can do to that. Make it count, make it count. Watch out, watch out, watch out. You are in my way. We are down to two minutes. Scooch, scooch, scooch. Here we go. Get the love. Get on the plate. Ooh, look and at that pizza. Cutter. And this is going to be. All right, where's that? Glove. Minute and 20 seconds. 20 seconds? A minute and 20 seconds. Oh. Hey, Google, stop. Got one minute left. Everybody send Zach a pizza. Send that pizza to Zach. How much time? Seconds, get it on a plate. How many seconds? Hurry. All right. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh. hands up. God. All right. There we go. Let's go. Good job, Zach. Thank you. You did okay, Sketchy. You did okay, Sketchy. <laughs> I agree. You did all right. All right, here's what we're going to do. I jump, I'm going to jump off. We're going to let Zach show his food, talk about his food. And while he's doing that, Sketchy, you just stand there and watch. And then the other way around, when it's okay. Sketchy's turn, Zach, all we want to see is you, okay? All right. Let's go. All right. Should I go ahead and start? Well, as soon as I'm out of here. All right, y'all. So let me get this coming out of the way. So um, I was inspired by a couple of um, child, well, yeah, let's say childhood favorites. Guess how they ask? Always a super, super fast, um, typically, all right, not today, but typically, a uh, fun, easy dish to, to make. Um, it's cheese, it's just cheese, uh, meat of choice. You can do lots, you can do beef, but today we did chicken. It was supposed to be chicken. But it turned out being a turkey <laughs> um, with avocado and some um, Kobe Jack. Ooh. So you can do sour cream. Sour cream is optional. Squirt a little lime on there and you will have yourself an authentic Mexican experience. Um, here's an omelet. Always had omelets growing up. Um, but if you have a can of mackerel and you don't know what to do with it and you have eggs, you always have egg. Everyone has egg, right? Um Mackerel omelet. Uh, who knew? 
And then we've got uh, clam pizza, which, which actually is a uh, popular pizza in Portland. Um, and I've always wanted to try making it, so I just took the opportunity. And I went ahead and made – the recipe itself is pretty simple um, as far as clams go. And, um, you know, the veggies you use. But I think what really made this a little bit more special was that I used a homemade uh, Alfredo sauce. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So those are my three dishes. We've got, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, we've got that mackerel omelet. We've got the quesadillas, the um, turkey quesadillas, and clam pizza. Nice. And let's see if I can switch this camera around. Uh, all right. Oh. I can't see you yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm gonna go ahead and do okay. hi. Are you there? There we go. Yes. All right. Here we go. These are called spam D bars. They have brown sugar and maple syrup with cinnamon. I baked them. They got really crispy, like bacon almost. Then I dipped them in some dark chocolate with some pecans and some sea salt flakes. <coughs> right here, we've got some turkey pinwheels. I'm not turkey. Oh, my gosh. You said turkey. Tuna. <coughs> Tuna and cheese pinwheels. They're puff pastry pinwheels. Quesadillas. They have clam and cheddar because the kids... I actually had a choice between shrimp or <coughs> crab. What did I say? Remember what I said? Yeah, these are crab. Crab, not clam. Crab. She was over here making quesadillas while I was making quesadillas. Crab. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah. Crab and, and cheese. Okay, now these got a little toasty because of my oven, but oh well. You know what? They're, they're chicken pot pies. <coughs> toasty chicken pot pies. Okay. Then I have some salmon uh, meatballs with uh, purple cabbage slaw and a lemon <laughs> crema. I got a Reuben sandwich, um, which is your classic recipe, basically, Thousand Island. Uh, Swiss cheese, sauerkraut. I've got canned corned beef, and I toasted it. <laughs> um, then we have. Do we have an intermission? No intermission. Then we have clam chowder here, which is also your your basic recipe. You know, made with half and half potato, bacon, onion. Um, yeah, wow. some salt and pepper. Then I've got. I want to call this my little pizza. I stuffed the crust with cheese, and then it has um, heirloom tomato. Parmesan mushroom and anchovies. That's amazing. So wait, okay. tell me that last, that last recipe again. The anchovy recipe. What's in there? And the anchovy is heirloom tomato mushroom parmesan. It's a phyllo dough with a stuffed crust and anchovies. Oh, that's so nice. Very nice. <laughs> well, thank you, Zachary. Yeah. <laughs> is the pizza good? All right. <laughs> I've got a confirmation. All right, the there we good. there we have it. Good job, Zach. Good job, Sketchy. Um, everybody, go to GrubMatch.tv. Vote for who you think is the winner. And this is a daughter son episode of Grub Match. And we will be back in about three minutes, and we will announce next week's competitor and the secret ingredient. Right. Zachary, that was the best. Good job, Zach. Thank you, Chef Bradley. Take Y'all pictures. Take pictures before you eat it and send them. Okay. Okay. Catch All you right. on the flip side. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.